Google have just finished day one of Google I.O. And as we expected, it was very Gemini Nano and AI heavy in general. And actually, one of the biggest taglines from this was reimagining Android with AI. And there was a lot of talk about how Gemini Nano is getting better in the coming months. So what we thought we'd do is just put together a quick video that can give you all the highlights of what we think is the most important things that came out of day one of Google I.O. The star of the show was Gemini Nano on Android and how Google are making it even better and actually now making it more context aware, which basically basically means it can provide you with information about what is happening on the screen. And there's two parts of this, what Google calls static and dynamic suggestions. So we'll talk about the dynamic suggestions in a second, but we'll start with the static suggestions. And in the Google keynote, they showed a lot of pickleball in this. Not that I even know what pickleball is, but it was a star of what you can do with Gemini Nano. Now Gemini Nano can just sit on top of what you're doing so you don't lose context when you're actually using the AI functions. Interestingly as well, now what you can do is use Gemini to drag and drop. So this just means if you're using Gemini to generate an image inside messages or an email, you can drag and drop the image that it creates straight into images or that email. And this is really cool because the one thing about AI at the moment is that I feel like you have to have too many steps to actually achieve what you want to do. So taking out the step of having to go from one app to another and having it overlay what you're already in, I think is really neat. Another way that Gemini Nano is becoming a little bit more context aware now is being able to use it inside things such as YouTube. So if you were looking at a video that is explaining a tutorial, I don't know, on fixing a sync or as Google wants to talk about playing pickleball, you can use the ask this video function and Gemini Nano will search that video for that specific request that you asked and it will bring up exactly that part of the video, which I just think is really cool because it means you don't have to start now wasting time watching a 20 minute video for you to find that three, four second piece that you actually really need. We're also getting the exact same feature on PDFs as well. And this feature is just ask PDF. So again, if you have a 48 page PDF, you can use the ask PDF function with Gemini Nano to search for a specific part of that PDF. And this will work on all PDFs, but annoyingly, this is only gonna be able to work if you're subscribed to Gemini Advanced. So everything that I just spoke to you about was a static suggestion, but now we'll move on to the dynamic suggestions. And essentially what this means is that now Gemini Nano will start to prompt you for things before you need to interact with it. So for example, if you were inside messages and you were having a discussion about going for a coffee, Gemini Nano will give you a dynamic suggestion for something like Google Maps, where it can show you your closest place to go and get a coffee. And again, this is a cool little update because it just eliminates an extra step of you having to do that searching yourself. All these dynamic suggestions are done on device locally until you initiate something. So if you click a Google map suggestion, it will then go to the cloud and get that information. But all the static suggestions that we spoke about earlier on, they are all done on device. And there's no official date of when this will be rolling out yet from Google, but it is coming. So it's something that you might want to keep your eyes peeled for. Let's have a little look at circle to search. Now, Google have said that over 100 million devices currently are being used with circle to search. And hopefully by the end of 2024, the end of this year, they want to add another 100 million to get to 200 million devices using circle to search. And today you can go and use this right now. They introduce circle to search with homework. Google mentioned that more people than ever are using tablets and their phones to do homework, which kind of makes sense. So that's why they've added homework help with circle to search. This works exactly the same as circle to search would work. But if you're stuck on a maths problem, you would do that circle to search around the equation that you might be stuck on. Then you'll get a step-by-step -step instruction to solve a range of physics and math word problems without even leaving that page that you're working on. And Google showed this on physics problems, but said that it will be rolling out some more complex problems involving symbolic formulas, diagrams, graphs, and a little bit more later on in the year. I like this because it doesn't just give you the answer. It shows you exactly how you get to the answer. And this is something that is available now so you can go and try it. So let's all go off and just solve maths completely. Another thing that Google announced with Gemini Nano is a scam call alert that will work on Pixel 8 Pros and the S24 series. Google did some research and said that a trillion dollars every single year is lost to scam calls. So this feature might be quite useful for quite a few people. And what it will do is it will listen to your phone call in real time on device. And if it detects that this might be a scam call, you'll hear like a notification sound and see a notification pop up. 
and it'll listen out for certain phrases like if you're on the phone to what is meant to be your bank if it asks for your pin or it asks you to pay with gift cards that's when it will realize that this could be a scam call like i mentioned this happens on device so only your phone has access to that call information it doesn't go anywhere else but this is one of those features that's not available just yet but it'll be rolling out a little bit later in the year and finally google announced that the pixel 9s will debut a more powerful version of gemini nano later on in the year and interestingly, Google said that this new version needs more powerful hardware to run. So if you have an older Pixel, essentially a Pixel 8 or older, then it looks unlikely that you'll get this. What they did show off of this more powerful Gemini Nano coming later in the year was an upgraded version to their TalkBack feature. Now, if you don't know what TalkBack is, it's essentially a screen reader and tells people who are impaired visually what is on the screen and it can describe images. And it does it fairly well at the moment, but it's not as good as it could be. You can see an example here of it describing in really good detail what can be seen in the image. And like I said, TalkBack does do this at the moment and it does an okay job, but the new TalkBack feature, it can see an image as essentially a human would see that image and can describe it exactly how you would describe it to a friend to give you a much clearer picture of what is being seen on the screen. Again, this is one of those features that is not available yet. It will be available later on in the year when you see the release of the Google Pixel 9s. Like we expected though, Google's keynote was very heavy on Gemini Nano and AI in general, but let us know your thoughts of what you've seen at the keynote on day one in the comments below. We'll have a lot more coverage from Google I.O. over the next couple of days, so make sure you subscribe so you get the latest news here first. And if you do that, then I'll see you a little bit later on.